John, I just bought this new car and I really like it, but I've got a lot of questions about this car. I'm, I'm concerned about whether I can, what kind of fuels I can run in this car, and I'm concerned about the security of the United States and not being forced to just buy one kind of fuel. Uh, can you tell me what my options are as far as different kinds of fuels I can put in this car, possibly? Unfortunately, the General Motors did a great job of designing these vehicles. They made it so that within their software is already the option for you to have fuel choice. Um, you can run off additional liquid fuels uh, just with the software updates, such as methanol, which is only $1.20 per gallon right now. It's all domestically produced. It can be made from coal, natural gas, or even your leftover yard waste. Uh, or ethanol, which doesn't have to be made from just corn. You can make it from sugarcane, uh, sorghum. There's a ton of different feedstocks you can use to actually make the fuel. So I don't need to actually make these fuels myself. Where can I, where can I fill it up? Fortunately, we do have stations around here. Um, we only have to go about five minutes to the north for us to fill up with our 85 But let's say you don't have it around. The best part is you can still fill up with gasoline if you want. Oh, okay, so you're saying I don't have to necessarily use ethanol or methanol all the time or exclusively. Is that right? Can, right. I, can I put different blends or mixtures of that fuel in there? All you have to do is fill up with at least three gallons and drive around for 10 minutes. And the car, using a virtual sensor in its programming, will relearn the fuel. They're that smart and that good. That so the car does it all for me. I don't have to do anything. It does it all for you. It's already in there. It's that simple of a solution. That's incredible. So tell me, when I run these alternative fuels, what's that going to do to my fuel mileage, and what's that going to do to the reliability of, of my car? They are much simpler molecules, so they actually burn a lot cleaner. Additionally, they have higher octane, so you're actually going to get more power. While you do get a slight decrease, and I detect about a 10% decrease in fuel mileage on this, it's still only 20, it's almost 20 to 30% cheaper to drive on those other fuels. And all that money stays in our economy. Well, I'm, the I'm excited to drive this and, and know that I'll be producing less emissions. And I'm excited to try out these alternative fuels. So let's get to it. Sounds good. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna talk to the computer in the vehicle. Basically what we're gonna ultimately end up doing is we're gonna speak to this apparatus here which is located in the engine bay. In order to do that what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to take our little interface cable here which is a OBD2 port. Every vehicle 1996 and newer has these. So what we do is we simply plug it into the port. It makes its connection and then we turn the ignition on. So then what we will do is we'll go ahead and we'll hit the read button and it'll take roughly two to three minutes for it to download. Um, it was a successful read. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at what parameters and what things inside the computer that we be, will be able to change. Here we have a 2012 Chevrolet Traverse. Now what we're going to do today is turn this 3.6 liter direct injected engine into a flexible fuel vehicle using EFI Live. Now in this left hand area you can see it's very similar to Windows Explorer. So let's check a couple settings. Oh fantastic. We can see the General Motors already put in the right values for determining what the air to fuel ratio needs to be. An engine is just an air pump and you have to add the right amount of fuel to make sure that it burns cleanly. Well, this already has the calibration in there for E85 being about 9.6 to 1 for its air to fuel ratio. Here we have the flex fuel option. Let's turn it on. What this will do is every time you fill over 3 gallons, the vehicle will, will relearn the fuel that is in there for about 10 to 15 miles of driving. It will adjust the spark values, which right now we can see there is no change in the timing for spark. What we're going to do is add about 4 degrees across the board to allow for better use of the ethanol and to make more power. There are over 100 to 200 different settings in the computer that can be changed. We only needed to change 4 to make this vehicle work well as a flexible fuel vehicle.
Let's go test it out.